When the sudden death of her father leaves the protagonist with a mysterious key, she soon discovers that this is only the beginning of the puzzle. Behind the door the key opens lies a secret hideout with a secret that could change everything she knew about her family. With each new discovery, the intrigue deepens and the protagonist is plunged into a world of deceit, lies, and betrayal. What is this inheritance and what does it demand in return? The movie masterfully blends elements of thriller and drama, leading the way full of unexpected twists and turns in thrilling moments. What or who is it that we find out in inheritance? While the younger members of the family are engaged in political affairs in the town parliament, preparing William for the election to Congress, the head of the family, Archie, struggling to breathe, heads to his car, clutching his throat. He fails to escape, and daughter Lauren learns of her father's death during a press conference. After Archie's funeral, a meeting is held at the family's summer cottage to open his will. Archie leaves his huge sum of money and all of his assets to his wife, son, and even the town's fire department. Lauren only gets $1 million, at least that's what Archer's attorney Harold claims. However, in private with Lauren, he hands her an envelope that her father willed to be given to her in secret from everyone. Opening the envelope and finding a flash drive inside, Lauren checks its contents. She sees her father on the screen, who cryptically warns her that the truth must never go beyond this flash drive. Finding the key, Lauren immediately realizes what kind of door it unlocks, remembering her childhood and the day she spent with her father in the woods. She goes straight to the basement she remembers from her childhood. The key easily unlocks the door leading to the deep basement and Lauren begins to explore the strange rooms. At the end of the hallway, another locked door awaits her. In this dark room, Lauren is greeted not only by a pungent smell, but also by a major mystery. In the center at a table, she sees an emaciated, gray-haired man who at first glance appears to be undead. When Lauren touches the tortured captive, he suddenly comes to life. Lauren, terrified, runs home and, in a panic, tries to call emergency services but realizes the consequences the call could bring to her family. Instead, she decides not to share her discovery and act as if everything is normal. She convinces her family to come home by lying to her husband that she wants to spend more time with her mother, and once they leave, Lauren heads to her father's office to look for answers. As dawn arrives, she returns to the bunker to fingerprint the prisoner. As soon as he wakes up, she runs away again, trying to hide her face. When she returns, wearing a carnival mask, the captive only laughs, knowing all about their family. Realizing that he has nothing to lose, he agrees to tell Lauren the truth. But before he does, he demands that Lauren bring him a juicy steak with side dishes and sauces, a cigarette, a fresh newspaper, and a chance to shave. Lauren tries to deal with her captive's insolence, but he realizes he can manipulate her. She turns to her acquaintance Detective Sanchez and asks him to check for fingerprints. Despite her reluctance to fulfill the captive's whims, Lauren goes to the cafe and waits for her order. She sees an article about her family in the newspaper, which reinforces her decision to keep her heritage a secret. Returning with full bags of food, Lauren goes straight to the bunker. The captive promises to tell her everything after he eats lunch. Using this time, Lauren decides to reschedule her meeting with William for a later date. Returning to the bunker and handing the old man the rest of the food, Lauren resolutely sits down at the table, ready to listen to an explanation. In response to her look full of questions, the old man begins his story by opening the box of photos her father took each year. Only then does he reveal his name as Morgan Warner. The revelation surprises Lauren, but her face begs to continue, and then he begins to tell her about meeting Archer when she was young, their shared vices, and how their lives changed after one drunken party. That evening ended tragically. They hit a teenager on the road. Out of fear of the consequences, Archer decides to bury the body, threatening Morgan with violence if he doesn't help him. According to the old man, Archer was so terrified of the idea that Morgan might turn him in that he decided to lock him in a bunker and keep him there for 30 years. The old man claims that Archer couldn't make up his mind to end him all that time. Despite her doubts, Lauren listens to his story, looking for inconsistencies in his words, but Morgan answers all her questions clearly and convincingly. He then tells Lauren about Sophia, her father's mistress, and their secret affair that has been going on for years. To back up his words, Morgan gives an address where Lauren can find Sophia. A shocked Lauren runs out of the bunker, horrified to realize the sheer amount of information she has just received. 
On her way into town, she calls her acquaintance Sanchez and asks him for information about Morgan Warner, silently praying that it's all a lie. Back at work and leaving the old man in the bunker, Lauren is still immersed in her thoughts about the information she received. Meanwhile, the old man, emboldened by her reaction, begins active training, hoping for freedom. Lauren continues her investigation and decides to visit Sophia. Arriving at the set house, she meets a not young but still attractive woman who confirms their affair in the presence of a common son. Sophia promises Lauren to keep their secret a secret from her mother. Lauren, already completely disillusioned with her father, leaves the apartment. Lauren goes to Hurl's house to find out why he has been hiding her father's secrets from her family. She also tries to find out if there is any verified information about Morgan, but Harold genuinely doesn't know who he's talking about. At her brother's headquarters, Lauren talks to her mother, who is helping William's campaign, and inquires about Morgan, but Catherine also knows nothing about him. After discussing work matters with her relatives, Lauren returns to the bunker. Old man Morgan tells her that he knows many secrets about the Monroe family, having been Archer's confessor for many years. He is even ready to show Lauren the place where the body of the man who started it all is buried, but for this the girl will have to take him to the place. Deciding to take the risk, Lauren handcuffs Morgan, removes his collar, and leads him out of the bunker at gunpoint. Outside for the first time in 30 years, Morgan marvels at the starry sky and nature, but Lauren quickly reminds him of their mission. During the ride, Lauren's cell phone rings and she orders her captive to be quiet. As she listens to her husband's indignation, Morgan begins to walk toward her. Eventually, they head into the woods, where Morgan points out the location of the supposed burial site. Lauren begins to dig, ordering her captive not to move, and soon finds the remains. Lauren is horrified, buries the find and returns the captive to the bunker in a hurry. Morgan doesn't understand why she won't let him go, even after showing him the evidence. Lauren, on the other hand, decides to take time to reflect. Despite Morgan's belittling, she remains adamant in her decision not to let him go. In spite of his fear, Morgan is forced to put the collar back on, awaiting Lauren's decision. In the days that follow, she goes through her father's papers as if in a fog, searching for an explanation. No information about Morgan Warner is found in the police or elsewhere, slowing the investigation and leaving the old man in uncertainty. Plus, Lauren has problems of her own at home. Her family is tired of her constant absences. She's finding it hard to concentrate. As she defends her brother's interests in court, Lauren's thoughts keep returning to the prisoner. As soon as the session ends, she hurriedly heads to Harold to tell him what she knows about her father's criminal machinations. Lauren then turns to her brother without going into detail, describing the blackmail situation. After reflecting on his cynical words, she returns to Morgan, carrying a gym bag. Morgan again begs Lauren to let him go, swearing that he will disappear from her life and not bother the Monroe family anymore. Lauren, upon reflection, hands the old man the keys to the collar and orders him to pack his things. He'll be free to go once she's prepared everything she needs to make him disappear. Leaving Morgan to pack, Lauren meets with Harold without explaining the details, instructing the lawyer to open an account in the Cayman Islands and arrange new paperwork. Harold tries to find out the details, but Lauren refuses to talk and asks him not to waste his time. Meanwhile, Morgan prepares for his new life. He shaves, cuts his hair, and changes his clothes. He looks at Lauren, who asks him to tell her what her father said about her. Morgan assures Lauren that Archer has always been very proud of her. However, new facts about their father and William's fraud upset her. Leaving Morgan for a while longer, Lauren goes to her brother to reveal the whole truth to him. Finally, the moment comes when Morgan Warner leaves the bunker, taking the chess piece with him in his memory. At dawn, he comes to the surface and looks up at the clear sky. Lauren takes him to a private jet where Harold is waiting for them. Morgan thanks Lauren for her help, and she in turn apologizes to him. But the lawyer, just in case, warns the old man that if he decides to return, all the unsolved state cases over the years could be hung on him. Harold gives the stranger the necessary documents and a briefcase with money, after which the prisoner and the lawyer get on the plane, preparing for departure. Meanwhile, Lauren returns to the bunker to scrutinize the prisoner's belongings and destroy any evidence by packing them in trash bags. The girl doesn't even realize that Sanchez has found the owner of the fingerprints and documents with the information he sent to the summer home address. Lauren also discovers strange syringes and a vial of hard drug. 
Taking the bag of documents, Catherine enters the house and finds a mess made by her daughter looking for the documents. While Catherine examines the evidence, Lauren receives a message from Sanchez about the documents and rushes home to intercept them from her mother. Upon arriving home, Lauren finds her mother, Catherine, in the study, pale with terror. Catherine is perplexed as to where her daughter got the pictures of this terrifying man and tries to explain to her that this man is evil incarnate and that if he is on the loose, it will be the end for everyone. Realizing her mistake, Lauren asks her mother to lock all the doors and tries to restore order. She tries to call Harold but is unable to reach him. Lauren discovers the lawyer's body at the ramp of a plane that never left and realizes she didn't have time to warn her mother. Returning to the summer house, she doesn't find Catherine in any of the rooms. Noticing light from the underground bunker in a window, she goes down there and finds her mother unconscious on the floor. As she tries to help her mother, Morgan himself appears in the doorway. The old man drops the light switch now with a crazed look, running through the rooms and scaring Lauren with his sinister voice. At one point, Lauren tries to attack him, but the old man proves stronger and quickly shuts down his savior. When Lauren regains consciousness, she finds herself chained to a wall. The old man excitedly shares his plans, mocking how he managed to capture Lauren. Catherine also regains consciousness and the old man, oblivious to Lauren's screams, mockingly looms over her. Morgan reveals to Lauren that he forcibly possessed her mother years ago and that Archer nearly killed him for it, deciding at the last minute to punish him with imprisonment. Lauren promises to help prove her father's guilt in court, but Morgan is not interested. He wants revenge and is determined to take his revenge on Lauren. He stabs her in the legs. Morgan tells of his plans to destroy the Monroe clan, but when the girl resists, he reveals his worst secret. Lauren is his daughter, born to Catherine after that night. When the old man is distracted, Catherine finds a gun and shoots him. Eventually, the women decide to destroy his body, the evidence and proof of their strange kinship. They go upstairs, dousing the bunker with gasoline in the process, and Lauren drops the lighter, destroying all traces of his mysterious past. Thank you for watching. Leave your impressions about the movie in the comments and support us with likes, it's important for us.